Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be continuing on our uh, Beautiful Soup series, and today we are going to be scraping a web page for email addresses. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. Uh, this is what we do, we do micro videos, we build one thing upon another. So we already know this from BS4 import beautiful soup as beautiful soup. That's the way I remember it. Now we brought in oops, yeah requests. Now today we need to do a little bit more explicitly with regular expressions. So we're going to learn about one of the arguments for find all for our soup object. It's very cool, so we need to bring back and remember how to use regular expression compile. So let me see if I can do this right. Shoot, I th swore I was going to remember right here. So if you have not seen this video of how to use compile, go ahead and click it right now, and then you can come back and watch this. So all right, here we go. Let's. Let's stay HTML, and I'll have this down in the link below. Requests dot get, and all this is is the it's down on the contact section. Contact us, so that's all that is, um, and then we'll deal with that at a later time. All right, and then everything else we know, and then we're gonna do something new. So we bring our we create our soup to full soup, and then we pass it our HTML, and we're still parsing with HTML parser, and we'll get into what the others are <clears throat> now. All right, so this is where we bring in our other, so our email ID. ID and compile and this is going to be pretty lame right now so it's just going to be W all at and W all dot W all close that out close that out there we go now this is where this gets new. And I have this just so you can see it. Email soup dot find all. Now we just went and did this. Ah, bring this in. So I want to show you this about the arguments that uh, all right. So name attributes recursive text we're going to be using this text object this what we just made we're going to pass that in as the text so that's going to be what we're looking for so we don't have to so we can keep this clear and concise and then we may maybe we can go back and clean this up a little bit because it's going to be a little junky right now but we'll deal with that later all right email soup dot find all so what I say text and then email ID email ID close that out oh no I want this to be emails and I'll show you why in a minute let's bring this back in because we're gonna loop through this for email. Again, like I said, it's gonna be a little junky right now, but it'll get the job done. And this is what parsing is. You find out, it gets better, then it'll work for a while, and they'll change the website, then you gotta go, go and tweak it. All right. Okay, check this out. So here we go, we have, well, one, bunch of stuff right here we can deal with that later but now 
we have an entire list of email addresses that are coming off the contact page and this is how this is how it starts so there we go guys I absolutely love this stuff so as always please drop any comments questions video requests anything that I didn't quite go over look if you have a question if I skip something somebody else needs it pointed out so if you see something that's weird if you need clarification somebody else also has that same question so please please help out the channel and ask that question because somebody else may not uh, feel up to the nerve to do it so please please be the one to jump out so all right guys as always as always as always thanks for watching stay tuned and we'll see you guys next time bye guys hey guys thanks for joining us today i hope you really enjoyed today's video and if you haven't check out this video right here or this one right down here and most important make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time bye guys